Hey guys, I just wanted to make a new video just because last night it was really dark and you couldn't really see too much. I still had some other stuff to show. I didn't really get through everything. So if anybody didn't see the video, this is more of like the family one anyway. But uh, I don't even know how well I just captured myself. But anyway, so this is the pool. I'm like on the deck area, I guess, or backyard. Um, you guys can actually get like a better look. It just rocks. <laughs> Apparently that's like what constitutes as a nice backyard in Vegas is lots of rocks. So like we have like a rock garden. But actually these rocks are super soft. So like you can walk on these in your, like just in your socks and you will feel just fine. Like they actually don't hurt. But um, yeah, we have rocks. <laughs> but yeah, this is the pole is over there. One sec. Because this is the remote that like does all the pull stuff. And I just wanted to show you guys the waterfall. Uh, I have it upside down. Don't judge me. <laughs> but you'll see it. So it like kicks on, and then, yeah, that's the waterfall. It's pretty neat. You like swim under it, chill on it, you know. So it's pretty cool. This is this is the jacuzzi, which we don't really have heated up yet. Uh, look at these boulders. Okay. So we're gonna go over here. I'm gonna show you these boulders. There might be some wind in the mic, by the way. So sorry about that. But look at these boulders. So these freaking, like literally boulders. I don't know why that's there, but like, this is our giant palm tree, I guess. And it looks like a giant pineapple. But it just has, they're just like, oh yeah, you know what? We're just gonna drop three boulders right here. Cause it looks nice, I guess. Cause once again, rocks are like the way that, <laughs> the way in life of Vegas. See, we have rocks everywhere, just boulders. <laughs> like, just giant boulders. I'm gonna put this back down. We have to actually manually fill the pole, but all we do is just like, twist this lever right there. You just turn it that way. And then, we have to, that's how you got to fill the pole. It's manual, but it could be worse, right? Um, I just got done cooking, but I already showed you guys, that's like the trash. And we, it's still a little messy. We have to put some stuff away because we went yesterday, get some stuff at the old apartment yet. And uh, microwave, this was the dishwasher I was talking about. It's actually running right now. Like my phone is like right on it. You can't hear it. It's crazy. But, yeah, it's a nice dishwasher. This is our Sub-Zero fridge that is really nice. Like I said, we have a lot of decent food in here. Um, we eat pretty healthy, actually. Lots of eggs, food for days. Basically, we have protein shakes and NOS and whatnot. And then some unhealthy food, but yeah. This ice maker, it's like, we have, okay, so I love how no matter what, ice makers are always broken. Like the one at the old house I had a problem. This one just kind of just like comes out. It doesn't actually, it just like sits there, I guess. I don't know. Stupid. And then, that's basically the kitchen. Um, oh yeah, the stove. It makes this clicking. I wanted to show you guys. So it actually clicks. Well, actually, gonna clean that still. But uh, it actually, like, so if I like put it down, see, it's it's like on low. 
and it clicks. But then it doesn't click if I put it to medium. And then sometimes these, like this one, this burner over here will click whenever this flame's on. I don't know. It's stupid. Okay, so I actually love this oven. So it's actually a touch screen on there. It has like all these options, but it's actually a touch screen, which is interesting and it doesn't get hot. So this oven, so it has these vents in it that it, they like keep the heat and then whenever the doors open, it stops like throwing the heat out. It's really weird. So like you don't get like a blast of hot air into your face like you would in a normal oven. So it's like really nice whenever, um, yeah, I'll show you how it's like a touch screen. So if I was just like, hey, okay, just touch it. It's pretty neat. But um, yeah, it's a really awesome oven. And this is like our pantry. We have like dog food and stuffs. Um, yeah, we have oatmeal. Lots of oatmeal, always. Chips, snacks, healthy snacks actually. Like veggie straws and I don't know what those are, but they're really light. I don't, <laughs> people eat stuff. Lots of stuff in the pantry. And yeah, this is the gaming room, which there are people doing things. One roommate, that's Dan. That's Dylan. This is where we work. It's a, It's actually not that messy. It's way messier than this normally. <laughs> but yeah. Then he works down there. This is the dog area. Like we actually we have the TV here, but we also we also put the new TV or the other TV right there, so you can see it like for this living room. So like the it's right above. It actually doesn't fit in that little spot. So we were like really sketched out on putting it there, but I don't know. It seems fine. <laughs> then, but yeah, you guys saw like all the upstairs, but I guess I'll just run through it real quick. You guys don't really need to see the rooms. But you can see everything a lot better now that it's not dark. So we have a lot of windows and stuff, and you can see down there. A little bit better gaming area. And then, like I said, I'm not sure what we're going to do with that. My room's over there. I actually didn't even go over here. This is the master bedroom. Um, we're locked out right now. I would show you the master bedroom, but he's probably still sleeping, actually. Yeah, then you have, you have like this area. This is the hallway that leads to bathrooms and stuff. So like, this is technically our main bathroom, but we don't have a shower curtain yet because we're lazy. Um, so we actually use the downstairs one because it has a glass, uh, like, you know, door, sliding door. But yeah, it's not really much upstairs besides just rooms. Just bedrooms and rooms that we're not sure what we're gonna do with them. We have like all this space from the front door. And a little pug. I don't know where she is actually. She's probably upstairs in the master bedroom. See, this is what I mean. We, we all take showers down here because it actually has the sliding door that we have to like wipe down and whatnot, you know. But yeah. That's the house. And I'll let them say bye. Bye.